going to make a barbecue that I need on your house. Of course, we're down here at the Pepper Mill, which is one of the most famous restaurants in probably Vegas. It's been here for many, many years. It's a very casual restaurant, but they have everything. But the food, oh my goodness gracious me, the portions are amazing. And uh, Keith, uh, and Keith the tea Cullen, is good. The tea and, is good. Do you like the tea? Because, you know, he's from Ireland and I'm from England, so we're, we're kind of, you know, the same. We both like a cup of tea. Yes. And we like lots of cups of teas at, during the day. Throughout the day. Yes, throughout the day. We'd like a cup of tea. And in Ireland, it's, it's very much a thing. No matter what happens, you drink tea. So yes. if there's a birth in the family, if you there's a death tea. in the family, if there's gossip on the street, you go in and you have a cup of tea. Gossip on the if you There's always gossip fall and break your your leg, it's come in, have a cup of tea, you'll be okay. Yeah, so everything will be okay. It's our it's, emotional crutch. It seems to be the thing that men do, but, but the funny thing is I've been drinking obviously tea like you all my life and it's done so well. I mean, I'm, my body is pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm doing well. Everything's great. I, I'm going to put it all to the tea because it's, it kind of hurts, isn't it? Yes. And then people say to me, well, why don't you drink water? Do you drink water? All the time. Oh, you do? See, I don't drink any water. But that's so I say there's water in my tea. Well, tea's made with water. Absolutely. So there's my water. Once you're getting your eight glasses or cups a day. Well, I'm definitely good. getting my eight cups a day, for, for, for sure. For sure. <laughs> now, you're from Ireland, and now you're in Vegas. Is this kind of a trend? It's like everybody from all over the world. Everybody's the of flocking to Vegas. They are, aren't they? Why? Well, all the big superstars are here. Um, I'm actually based in LA now, so I'm just in Vegas for a couple of days. My parents are in town, so we're showing them the sights. Um, but yeah, I, I moved to Los Angeles to pursue my music career. And uh, how's it going? Fantastic. So, <laughs> I love to hear um, that because that's not usual. Usually, I'm trying to get jobs. Yeah, usually it's the it's the quite the opposite, and I've heard so many nightmare stories about people coming to the city of angels. So and, what is it? Is it your attitude, or what? What is it that sort of people sort of? I can see by your smile. You're smiling. You're happy. You're sort of you know vicious. You you kind of got it going. Yeah, I think. I think everything has to be with purpose. So for me, the music industry was not just something I I woke up one day and went, oh, I, I I'm really, going to be a singer. I'm going to be a singer. It was something that I grew up with my entire life. It was something that it's one of my first reoccurring thoughts that I should be a singer as a child. Um, I worked on my craft for years and years and years. For you know, from a very young age, I had my voice trained. I was in musicals at a very young age. I went to an, an audition for the London Arts, the Performing Arts College when I was 18. And I got in. And I got in, but I didn't go. I was too shy to go, which is crazy. Um, I bet you regret that now. Um, no, I don't, actually. I went into business then and you know had a really successful run. Um, so I think you, I think, the difference between me arriving to LA now is I have an infrastructure and I have support. Uh, I think the difference is the pe a lot of people go there searching for something. Um, I didn't need to find You didn't do that. Ever. You actually brought it to Los Angeles and Vegas. Yeah. So you've already got your package done. You're not building your package at all. No. You already have it. So once you have your package and you go in, you're prepared. That's what they want. Exactly. That's, and it's funny because a lot of people from New York come to Vegas and a lot of them get turned down because they think that they're just going to be found and everyone's going to put them on soon. What a competition. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. And it's, you know, it's, it's the same in LA, you know, like, Everywhere you go, people are actors, musicians, and just incredible levels of talent. But I think the one thing that they um, that they're missing, possibly in my eyes, is the infrastructure around. Yes. And I think it's very hard to be in any city, a big city, and a thriving city without infrastructure and support. So I'm very lucky, and I say thank you all the time to my my management team and you you know, have the my managers. producers. You have yeah, the manager. I actually have three managers. Um, well, you could, very can't have too many, I'm, I'm very difficult to manage. Um, <laughs> no, you straight. Um, my well, you have one in England, yeah, right? Uh, my, my sister manages my European career, and then I was signed by a guy called Phil Q, who's uh, been legendary in the industry in, in America. He signed people like Janet Jackson. And Josh Groban and did that. How did you manage to get into that? How did you manage to get hold of him 
Is it your talents? Is it because of what you've done? I'd like to say it's my talent, but ultimately talent. it's we not. Um, I, I think that it's part of anything. I think to be talented in your field and work really hard in it and graft and produce great songs ultimately and you know uh, be a nice person is also very important but uh, yeah, be very personal. yeah and but, but my kind of break came from I was recording in a studio in Los Angeles and I was recording a song and my producer who is Bob Cudarella he again famous names, yes. worked there, Clapton and Michael Jackson and Madonna and you know and he is a long standing friend of Phil and he was talking about me to him and he came in and just heard me in the studio and from there he said well I want to sign you so that's really how it happens. Isn't so, that wonderful? This yes. is what you call a fabulous story. I mean, you don't really think that these things really happen, they, but they do. They, they do, do exist. They do I, exist. I think the myth of the overnight success doesn't exist. I think no, the, I the whole serendipity or the universe working on your behalf and you, you know, the and then chance you also meeting. Work because yeah, you're, you're also always working. working. If you're, I mean, you're selling yourself, you're selling your talent. Of course. And if you have that package together, you have it all ready to go, and somebody says, I want to hear you, I want to see you, and you're ready for that. Now, a lot of people aren't ready, they've got to go to rehearsal, I'll see you in two weeks. I, you know, and they give all these excuses. Of course. Now, what sort of songs do you sing? Um, well, I'm classed as a pop artist, um, but we coined like a different phrase, because when you think of pop, you think of now in this day and age, you think of, the Lady Gaga's and the Rihanna's and the Katy Perry's and um, my music doesn't really fit into that category. So, um, being Irish, we're, we're big into lyrics and melody and storytelling. So, I wanted to write songs that were really authentic to me and very honest and very truthful. Um, I think each individual goes through, has their own story. They do. Yes, they have their they own do. soundtrack to their own lives. So and, and not to be afraid to tell your own story. No, and, and it's, it's fascinating. Yeah, and it's hard it. sometimes to look in the mirror with yourself and go, okay, how do I feel and how do I express that and how do I want the world to, to, see you, to hear you. that and perceive yes. that. But I think honesty always wins in the end. So. Honesty wins with everything, believe me. Yeah. And then you don't get tripped up. You don't trip yourself up along the way. Because if that's the story, if that's the story, it's the story. So it's always going to be the same. Yeah, and when you put your, your heart and soul into your music, I think people really, they can hear that and it resonates so well with them. So, and that was all my, always my intention. Absolutely, yeah. you've obviously been honourable with what you do. Um, with the younger generation going, maybe I'm quite like myself, but the younger generation going into this business, what advice would you like to give you know, somebody who's trying to get into that sort of little um, Yeah, like, I, I, I'm very lucky because I, I have I have been given the chance to nurture some, some younger talent recently. And, oh, good. Um, we have an, a, a great kid coming up through the through the ranks uh, called Jake, and I think uh, my thing for younger people is always to not be in a rush. So I think patience is a big thing in this industry. Um, you have to work really hard, and then I think don't do something not unless you are completely madly in love with it. Um, just because you won't have the tolerance for it, and it won't to come go, out right if it's yeah, not right. you won't have the tolerance, or you won't go, you won't go the mile, you won't no. go the distance no. in terms. Because your heart's of not into that, so go what your heart is telling you. Yeah. And if you sing what you like and you do what you like, then it's going to come out really, really good yeah. because your heart's and your soul's in it. And I just think some people are, you know, some people are designed to be nurses, some people are designed to be mothers, some people yeah. are designed to be singers, some people are designed to be architects. Find think, it. Do what you love. Find and then what you love. Never have to work a day in your life. Absolutely. How can anybody reach you? Um, I'm on Facebook, Keith Cullen. I'm on Instagram, Keith Cullen, Twitter. Keith Can we go Cullen. back with Keith Cullen? Keith Cullen. Keith Cullen. Keith Cullen. <laughs> Always, all Keith Cullen. Keith Cullen. Keith Cullen. We were doing this before we actually came on the set, and I was saying, well, How do you pronounce Cullen. your last name? Cullen. 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 Okay. Fine, it's coming you on. Thank you so much. Thank for you so much. On. It's a pleasure. It's amazing. Uh,
gifted talent, but he's worked hard, and wherever he is, he deserves it. We'll be back with Vegas Live. <laughs> Thank you.